Hey guys, it's me, Lauren, and welcome back to my vlog. As you can see, I have a kind of different setup right now. I look like Megan at her podcast. We're doing the podcast setup with Lauren. <laughs> yeah, so I actually don't have to wear these headphones, but because I'm so conceited and I love listening to myself. <laughs> Hello, boy. If you put your mic, it has to be direct, like your mouth to that part. So talk, up? say hello, sunod, sunod. Hello, 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 hello. Ooh, sound effect. <laughs> so, ginaya ko lang yung setup ni Megan. I'm actually in her condo right now shooting. As you can see, parang medyo high end. My oh, mic. High end talaga. Oh, my mics, <laughs> my earphones, magandang ilaw. <laughs> Kasi pag condo ko, sobrang it's so shitty. So. <laughs> Girl, this is just the sunlight. I know, you have better sun here. <laughs> Richer sun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, this is like Megan's first time guesting on my vlog with her permission because the first video that she was in, I kind of just like... Bombarded her. Yeah, you. I bombarded her and I just ko lang siya. <laughs> Hence the title, Annoying My Sister. Yes. Based on my last vlog, it was with Mom. Did you yeah. watch it? No. no. Okay, she didn't watch it, but you she didn't saw send it. it to me. Well, you should subscribe and turn on the notifications. Oh. I, I, I think I have, but I'm not sure. Okay, so anyway, that topic was mostly about like um, my relationship with mom and about her and dad separating and how actually um, life is still great even if you come from a broken family. Okay. The best. So it's not a secret that we come from a broken family. So I kind of want to just um, continue the topic a little bit because like that's from like a mother and daughter perspective and this is more like a sister perspective. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you some personal questions and I am going to Edit out na natin. <laughs> Sige. Okay naman ako doon. Wala naman problem. Also, notice how many times Lauren rolls her eyes. A lot. <laughs> She's like, ah. <laughs> That's my thing. A lot of people, they know us as siblings. Sometimes they don't, which is alright. Yun nga, public figures tayong dalawa. Especially you, like you've been in the limelight for so long. A lot of people know you based on your career and based on what you choose to show on social media. I think a lot of people don't really truly know like the essence of you and like where you come from. The essence of me. Um, this is a chance for people to kind of see um, that part of your life if you're willing to share it. So... If yeah. you guys want to know, just listen to our podcast, hashtag Behind Relationships. No, oh, bye! <laughs> this is my show! <laughs> okay, so anyway. I'm kidding. Okay, so back to like our relationship and back to um, what happened to our family. I don't think a lot of people know this, but you were kind of um, like not forced, but you had no choice to kind of like raise two kids. <laughs> well, yeah, because when I was 20 years old, that's when... You were our, 20? I was 20. Wow. wow. When our pa parents separated and then dad moved out of the house and mom moved to the and States. eventually mom moved to the States shortly after. So we were kind of just thrown left, into it. Just yeah. the three of us. And we were like, um, what do we do? Paano ba tong adulting na to? Ano bang naituro sa amin? So Lauren, Victor, and I were very dependent on our parents. Yeah. And we were so dependent that our parents did everything. They did all like the bills. They did like we everything were financially. We were privileged and spoiled in a sense. We were very spoiled in the sense that they didn't let us be adults because they wanted to do everything for us. And they, and they thought that was their way of taking care yeah, of us. Exactly. So when our parents separated and when they each started to like do their own thing, for me, I was like, oh my gosh, paano na, paano na kami Sinong ng rent? Who's gonna take care of each other? And I think it was because you were the eldest, so you automatically had this thinking na parang, oh, ako yung pinakamatanda. I'm the one who has to take responsibility. I'm the one who has to kind of figure this out for everyone. Yeah, and I thought na since I was your ate, I should take care of you. Like, there, was, there wasn't there was even a question of should I take care of Victor or Lowe? No, I knew that I had to take care yeah. of you guys because who else would? And I didn't want to leave you guys because you were my siblings. I mean, diba nga? Blood is thicker than water. So, no matter what happened to us, kahit na broken family tayo, aalagaan ko talaga kayo kahit ano mangyari. Piyak tayo. 
Shut up. Roll eyes <laughs> <laughs> <Girl> ice again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the truth. So like a lot of people don't know this, but like Megan like helped Victor. Like you put him through school. You were there for yeah. me. Like because like I was working. So during that time, I didn't really need a, a lot of help financially because I could kind of handle myself during that time. Okay, so let's do a little backstory. So when it was just us. Um, I was still struggling with my career because I didn't really know what I wanted to do if I wanted to host, if I wanted to act and there wasn't a lot going for me yet at that time. I had a lot of hosting gigs but of course, if there's no work, there's no money and there's no money and there's no rent so that was the the time when Victor needed money for school and we had to like really find out what to do and where to get that money from. So coming from my background where I didn't know how to handle money, I didn't know how to do accounting or how to save in general, it was really hard for me because I was just looking at my bank account, seeing if I could pay for this and seeing if I could pay for that and what worked for us as a family. So it was it was difficult because I didn't know what I was doing honestly. So how did you figure it out? <laughs> um I played it day by day, but Mikael was already my boyfriend at this time and I would ask him for his opinion mm-hmm. although he didn't want to super dive into it because Because you guys were new as a couple we then were new as a time, couple. Eh? Yeah, and he didn't want to get himself too involved because he didn't want to offend anyone. But he was probably thinking it's none of his business. Yeah, exactly. So he wanted us to like be able to do our own thing and just be there as like a guidance. But when it came to family matters, he didn't want to like put himself too much in there yet. Well, it, it, if you think about it, it's kind of amazing how like that was like what 10 years ago. Yeah, oh, yeah it was 10 it was. years ago and sometimes like when you're stuck in a position like that when like times are really hard you always think that you can't go anywhere that you're just going to keep going down but then now that we're all in like better parts in our life better places in our life dun mo makita na parang you really have nowhere else to go but up especially if you try hard you know and you learn ang hirap lang ng time na yun kasi parang iniisip ko na and you had no one to help you it was just you oh oh pag titingin ako sa account ko parang ano ba to parang kulang pa to sa rent natin tapos ang dami dami pa nating gastos like food transportation no and cause like um diba I've been through a lot of financial troubles as well and like there are times when I look at my bank account and you don't realize how stressful and how how much anxiety it gives you just having to check your bank account mm. every single day and seeing that you don't have money how did you feel though like during that time i was 20 victor was 18 and you're probably like 17, uh, 17 years old yeah. and me being your sister i wanted to protect you guys in that sense and be able to take care of you but i'm sure you had a different perspective when it came to seeing me as trying to like oh yeah i hated you i no cuz like i i was like a Honestly, growing up, I've I've always been like this angry kid. You know that. Like I've been angry, yeah. I've been spoiled. I, I have a short temper because like I'm very big on. Like even until now, like I, I used to think that I had like anger issues and I would do like all these exercises to help me clear my mind. And they help because I'm not that big on anymore. But like I have a short fuse. So during that time, even more like I was 17. Um, my parents just separated. They left, and then. Uh, I wasn't exactly good already with taking um with being controlled by 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 the parents mm. that what more when it was my sister who stepped in and was like hey you got to do this hey you got to do that and I'd be like shut the fuck up you're not my mom yeah <laughs> so no, she would tell me that like yeah. time and time again you're not my mom get out of my face stop bothering me stop bothering me and no like even when I moved here when we when I moved here a year ago cuz we weren't on the best terms also yeah. the first thing I told her was when I'm going to move in there, I'm going to move in there, but you're not my mom. You're my sister. And she got so offended <laughs> that I had to make her realize, you know, it's because when she thinks that she's my mom, she doesn't know, you don't know that you're actually adding pressure on yourself to be like my mom when you can be my sister. Yeah, but, but during I, that time it was needed. Like for me, necessary. my my perspective in the man was, I just want to help you, so can you just do it? But I also, now that I look back on it, mali yung approach ko kasi yeah. sa Like there's always a right approach for different people. Now just because I do things a certain way doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that Lauren do, does it the same. Like doesn't mean it works for her. Yeah. So when Lauren and I started living together, uh, it was me, Victor, and Lauren, and we decided to build on our relationship. Yeah. We decided to build on the foundation like our basic 
foundations as adults mm-hmm. um and because that's one other thing she doesn't treat me like an adult <laughs> i mean no, you used to not treat I, me like I an didn't adult used to yeah. treat you like an adult but what, what we wanted to work on was how do we communicate things that we think would help our sibling without you know imposing it on them yeah like if Konare, i wanted you to improve on my spending habits your spending habits like now i say Oh, kamusta na yung ganito? Kinakamusta ko muna siya. And then I ask, is it okay if we do a rundown of your expenses yeah. and see if, you know, you're spending more than you're earning? But before, I would be like, asa na yung ano mo? Listahan mo ng ano. Magkana yung pera mo? Magkana pera mo? Mm-hmm. Parang ginagastos. Gastos mo. But ganyan lang. So she's so very my hard. judging, my judging yeah. tone din kasi ako well, before. I mean, this is not to be offensive. You guys don't know, Megan's a very judgy person. <laughs> I used to be. No, to be. when it comes to us, I think it's because like when you love someone so hard, especially like family, that you become so comfortable and you just want the best for them that you think the approach is you not. You think it's you being like, but you don't realize that there's a sense of judgment, being judgmental. Like, hidden uh-uh. under it, right? Yeah, so now I'm very, I wouldn't say careful, but I'm more sensitive sensitive about my approach to my siblings or even to anyone else that I encounter especially because like Mikael says like he was the one who pointed this out we are a very sensitive family yeah like we're so sensitive and he would even call me out he would be he would tell me sometimes na you were so mean to Lauren he, he told me that yeah. he was straight up like you were so mean you know she was just trying to help you out and then you cussed her out you know why it was during we were teaching Megan how to play League of Legends <laughs> And then I was like, you can I go up? Well, then see, that's something that I'm like you in a sense. Yeah. Like when I try to help her, I put her down. Yeah, she <laughs> puts me down and she makes fun of me. So I was like, can I go Can I go bobo? She said na bobo. Bobo, can I go And I'd be like right here in her ear. Right in my ear. Tata, can I go up? Di ka maruno. Ano tayo nasa comp shop? Oh, oh. <laughs> and then she was like, ano ba? for me to stop it and then Victor was doing the exact same thing but she wasn't getting mad at Victor and I was like fuck this okay you don't want my help bye <laughs> and then Mikhail was like you're so mean to her she was trying to help you but then he didn't point out the fact that I was super mean to you no but there was also another instance Nagaro, not in terms of games but you were trying to be helpful and then I was just like brushing you off but then I wasn't exactly responding very nicely to you. I don't remember this. I don't remember also what it was. But it probably <laughs> happened. But I remember him I remember him telling me that I was mean to you. So that counts. You see, this is why I love Mikael. He's always on my side. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he says it how it is, okay? That's his personality. Like we would have family meetings and I knew that I kind of grew up when after the meeting I told him I was like, Mick I didn't cry during the meeting. <laughs> I didn't get offended. I was like, I took it in and I understood it. Yeah. He was like, yeah, you're growing up. And Aww. I was like, and then I started to cry because I was like, he told me I was growing up. <laughs> Emotional family. Yeah, so everything, we're super sensitive. Because I'm sensitive, um, when things are happening to me, when I make decisions or when I say things, I think more now. When before I do it because I don't want to offend anyone because I know how it feels like to be offended. I'll tell you a con. Yeah. When you're sensitive is when somebody does give you criticism, sometimes you take it to heart when you just need to listen to it and learn from it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so okay. That's <laughs> how so Megan talks all the freaking time. She's like, Lauren, are you doing this? <laughs> Not like that one. Excuse me. And then you do this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically it for this video. We ha- we're going to cut it short because this video is actually going to be two parts. Because I want Lauren to get 10 minutes of video. I'm actually just here. I'm using my sister to get views. So thanks a lot for being on my channel. If you don't have views, you're going to get views. It means that you don't have a star power. I told you, I didn't have a sikat. So don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to get a sikat. Let's ride on the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so there thank you so much Megan for being honest Thanks, during Mo. this thing and then if you guys want to watch the next video then that comes out next week it's a and a with this girl right here whoa yeah why like- listen to the podcast hashtag behind relationship cool <laughs>